Poland, it's we had the 90, between 90 and 95,000. We can get the vehicle here, get it outfitted. By the time that vehicle's at 100,000 miles, so we're replacing it. Okay. Um, how, what, each year, um, over this, what is the average number of purchases that we make on a yearly basis for cars? It just varies. Are we always rotating? Like yes. every year we're always making a purchase? So we we'll would be buying some vehicles every year just based upon the funding <coughs> of the mileages uh, if, you know, to cycle those out. Okay. Now, just the thing on the years, and the reason why some of the years are more is because over that course of time, back when, when those vehicles were first purchased, we may have had some new positions and then we bought new vehicles. And so some years we may will have more than other years. Um, mm -hmm. So forecast that.
for vehicles. The, the intercept is our guess. It's probably way more expensive. I'm just saying, it's <laughs> long term. Yeah. <laughs> They're just right at, right at 30, just under 34,000. Really? What's the life on them? Should be about the same um, in a major metropolitan area. Um, over the life of the vehicle, they estimate it as far as like fuel consumption savings between $3,500 and $5,000 over the course of that vehicle's life. It is start start stop technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you use your bike yeah. after the bus, you can push and turn it off. Yeah, yeah. sir. I, I, I turn <laughs> mine off because uh, if I if I can speak, if that's okay. Um, my computer runs off the power to the car. Uh, that auto shut off shuts off. That power stops. My computer shuts off. Has to restart. So I never went past that. And I noticed the difference in fuel really hasn't really isn't much. I mean, we're putting. At least me, I'm putting two to three hundred miles on the car at night, so that the auto power off really doesn't serve a purpose. So. No, it's a mainly like if you're patrolling around, it never shuts off. It's, it's like a stop in the track. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs>
and then of course the, the previous director purchased one being the, the black Chevy to add to the fleet um, so that's the two purchases last year as far as the trucks we still you know we've got the Dodge Durango that's been handed down from department to department um, it's fixing the transmission is skipping it's fixing to lose its transmission we've picked up you know other trucks here and there because our department has grown by leaps and bounds um, we we got rid of e24 which was the old animal control truck years ago it had high mileage and then e16 and three quarter come this year uh, other than that we, we haven't really gotten anything gotten rid of anything because our department has grown so lance back to the parks and red truck are you saying that this would be a trade-in this would be an addition we, we already this will be an addition we already got rid of the three-quarter ton okay. um that's the one that we got the the mayor said twenty six thousand for so we're we're wanting another three-quarter ton to replace that and then there is one in the street department budget and that's just a half ton um in order to add that to the fleet because the dodge drain like i said it's it's fixing to go the transmission's fixing to go it's not big enough to haul if you're sending out a crew of three or four to do a job it's it's not big enough to carry that um and there again we've added personnel to the street side so right. we need yeah, another one. one person too right so if we go over one truck we have the chevy that we bought from but now the plants are driving It went to Jake, Jake's truck to the fleet. I mean, it's still, the people are here. We just, the, the trucks are still all accounted for it. I mean, we didn't really have a spare truck. Here, you sit next to him. And, and just for clarification, the truck is replacing. Yeah. 
for what, I guess? Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> well, the black truck is a four-cylinder twin turbo. Um, I don't know if it would pull a single motor trailer with a, with a lawnmower. The most, in there again, the most of the fleet is half-ton trucks. I've got the one ton. How many times do we have the Lance? We have a three mile trailer and a skid steer. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, and we have yeah. one truck that can technically pull that weight in the fleet somewhere, correct? Yes. Correct. Ask Unless him for money they don't need. Unless another job. Correct. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, we don't. It doesn't have to be a three-quarter ton. If you wish it to be a three-quarter ton, if you want it to be a half ton, we can do a half ton. We're just trying. We just know it's going to haul heavy stuff or have that possibility. We're just trying to get the longevity out of it and put a lot of weight on it. And so, you know, that was the intent when the budget was first drafted back in October. Yeah, where are we mowing the three motors at? We got a. We the, have one right now. I think. That's what I'm saying. But why don't we have a three motor trailer? Why are we using three motors in one job? I'm just, I'm just asking. The one or two, all the parking lots, the highway, the streets, everything. Everything that we want. Yeah, they go out. They just scatter. Yeah, I got when I put out put out two crews, uh, anywhere from two to three, depending on it. I got two at the ballpark. We're mowing. Right of ways on 102, 279, 72, all the right of ways in the city, all the drainages, Southland drainages, all the all the detention yeah. ponds, all the parks, yeah, all the it. city yeah. buildings. We got it. I, I have a problem with just purchasing another uh, bigger truck to Justin's point. And, and just educate me because I don't know. It seems like we could do some scheduling so we don't have one truck that would need to pull all different things at the same time. Um, that, that's the only issue I'm, I guess I'm, I can't comprehend. I can't figure that that part. Um, as far as the mowers, remind me again, are we, we're replacing, we're buying two mowers and we're replacing them, correct? We're not adding two more, correct? Correct. Correct, okay. Uh, I just want to make a statement on two. I remember we talked about this about four or five, six months ago, and uh, I remember Darren, Saying something, he said, Why aren't you buying three quarter ton trucks? You know, uh, right. you know we, we did talk about that at one point. And he said, Why don't you buy a three quarter? It, it, it's more practical than to have ton trucks. Am, am I right there? I remember that conversation. I remember you bringing that up. That's correct. Because my concern was that we're basically running through these half ton trucks really quickly when we could probably save money by having the three quarter ton trucks. Uh, that don't break down as fast because you're designed to tow, you know, uh, versus these half-ton trucks that, that aren't. I mean, um, I, I just think it's a better decision to go with a three-quarter ton truck over a half-ton truck because what if they've got to move that uh, skid steer and the lawnmowers at the same time? Now we're back to throwing these heavy loads behind uh, a half-ton truck versus we have to three three quarter ton trucks, and I would guess the price difference isn't a whole lot right now. That also goes back to the, the accountability that we're having to let the partners actually do for that. Just because we buy it for them, I mean, how do you ensure Back to the whole, we got to use some of our equipment to that's part of it. Lance, I know we just to make sure you use for that purpose. I know Darren also called out last time. How we balance pulling some of the resources and trailers that we have and making sure that it's equipped to pull it in the first place. So I mean, how, how, how are we going to ensure this truck's used for that versus having the same issue? Well, you're absolutely correct. It is you, you put your trailer and your equipment on the truck that's capable to pull it with ease and stop it and not have the wear and tear on that vehicle. It's up to my park supervisor, it's up to my street supervisor, and it's up to me to make sure that it is used correctly for what it's there. The other thing is we have two skid steers, we have two backhoes, we have two rollers. You know, it, it, there are some times that we have to pull 
people from parks to assist streets and streets as assist parks and you need the multiple equipment and you know it just it happens and you're right we as supervisors got to make sure that the equipment's used for what it's for and i think we have done that One more question, sorry. Okay, back to, on average, I know we don't have like a mileage thing for trucks or anything like that, but on average for, for the council members who have been here longer than me, how often are we rotating through cars on, for streets and parks tonight? It looks like the ones that I've seen lately have been eight, nine, ten years old. You know, usually they start having some issues, like the last one had a transmission issue, it was a cost I mean, the age of the truck, and we wanted to replace it. They actually started with building inspection. It's been all over the city. It's not a yearly thing. Yeah, I think it's got 80 or 90,000 on already. If okay. I remember correctly, they wear out and they start costing the city more than buying another truck to, to fix it. You've got to just look at it. Yeah. The other thing, too, in the case point for three quarter time versus half time, just Take my perspective, and Darren would say the same thing. We both pull uh, every once in a while. We pull a uh, truck, an RV. I pulled it with uh, my F one hundred and fifty, and until I started having problems after pulling it about a year and a half, I found a three quarter ton. I pulled it. I get better gas mileage, fuel mileage out of it. Uh, the thing is, is uh, especially if you go with the diesel, you're looking at 150,000 miles before you really go again. So, diesel, uh, three quarter ton, you know, 400,000 miles on it, you're probably uh, still going strong. So, and I think most of your contractors, that's probably what all of them go with, is three quarter ton for pulling any kind of trailer because of. Thank you. 